the garden of Melissa. It's spring break and so the kids are all home from school and it's a little too chilly to be outside. So we've decided to do a fun rock painting project. These little cuties, once the paint has dried completely and you spray them with a clear coat, will look fabulous out in your garden. You can paint frogs, or ladybugs, or even fish, or even turtles. Or you can get creative, use your imagination, and make anything you want to make. Let's get started. What you're going to need for this project is a variety of colors of outdoor acrylic paint and we have picked out several different colors that we want to use for our project. You're also going to want a variety of different sized paintbrushes, large paintbrushes clear down to small paintbrushes. Now for painting the eyes, if you're doing bugs, you can either use the end of the paintbrush or I do have a box of Q-tips that we can use to dot the little eyeballs on. And then I have these little paint trays that have different spots for all the different colors of paint. That way we're not all fighting over the same bottle. We can each have our own little supply of paint colors that we want. And then we have cups of water for rinsing our brush out and a paper towel to dry it off before we go to the next color on our painting. And then I have some UV resistant clear acrylic spray that we're going to spray on the rocks once they're completely dry after we've painted them. That's going to help protect them because they will be outside. And then of course you'll need a variety of rocks. Um, and it's completely up to you what size you want or what shape you want, whether you want large or small or whatever. Any rocks really will work for this project. And I think we're ready to go ahead and get started. I am going to try and do a ladybug. I don't know if you can see how I'm doing that. Okay. That's going to be the head there. Orange. So I've got the black head and the stripe on the body and then a little bit of a whiter spot on the back end. So now I'm going to paint the red. Just try to get it up along the edge of the black line. And then I'm going to need to wait for the red to dry a little bit before I put the spots and the eyes on. So I'll probably start working on another project while this one finishes drying. You think this is kind of frog green? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so here we go. And I'll add some eyes and I'll add some black spots on there, but I'm going to let that part dry before I add that. And I'm going to start working on another project. So I've got a couple ladybugs started here. I'm waiting for them to dry to add the spots. And now I'm going to attempt to do a frog. My looks, frog looks kind of terrible. Well, the frogs look a little bit more challenging, but I'm going to try here. We'll see how it turns out. you think look like a frog? No! <laughs> what? It's orange on a ladybug. Well, ladybugs, you know that are orange! Orange ladybugs are yeah. Japanese beetles. And they bite. Ah! <laughs> and they bite. <laughs> Just do an orange one. So I've started on a frog and I'm letting it dry just a little bit. And I've started on what I'm going to call a pink bug. And now I'm ready to, these little ladybugs are dry enough now that I can start to add the black spots. Uh, and you just randomly spot it like that. And then all I have left to do on these is add some cute little eyeballs that I'm going to paint on. And I'll probably use a Q-tip for that. The Q-tips are really working very well. So I've got a couple ladybugs completed. Here, I've got one there. I've got one there. Katie's got one that she's showing you. And the kids have got some that they've completed there. Very nice. I've got a, I did a frog. Oh yeah, I did a frog too, but mine's pretty terrible. <laughs> There's and, chains. 
I'm going to start on some random colored bugs now. So, Cash has got a frog and a turtle. Yes. Kane's other ladybug. Show yeah. him your frog and turtle. Turtle's wet. My frog. <laughs> I'm just going to show you a couple of steps on how simple this really is. I'm just doing a couple of random, what I would consider bugs. So on this rock, I just started with the head being that purple color. And then I'm just going to paint the body another color. So it's a really, really simple, easy, fun project that you can do. You don't need a lot of artistic skill to be able to create these. So I paint the body then a separate color. Just like that and you go all the way around. And here's another one that I've already started. It's still drying. That's two separate colors. And then I'll add eyes and spots to it. Here I have a little bumblebee. And I just used a Q-tip to do the little white part of the eye. And now I'm just going to use the bottom end of my paintbrush to do the little black dots inside the eyes. Like that. And then I just used a Q-tip when I painted my stripes on. doesn't have to be perfect. Just have fun with it. And we're just going to add polka dots. Super simple, fun, easy, and cute. Now I'm just going to add the black to the center of the eye. Just like that. That one's all done. I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope that you've been inspired to paint your own garden rocks. Thanks for watching.